Hi everyone, Happy New Year. At the time of filming, this is our very first tutorial of 2022. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had a little break away from painting and I find the blank page a little bit intimidating when I haven't painted for a while. So I thought the best thing to do was give you a gorgeous watercolor warm up with some loose watercolor flowers. So grab your paints and let's get started. Well everyone, I'll be honest with you, I've sat here for a minute just staring at this blank page going, ooh, what do I do again? And um, it's very natural for us all to feel a little bit intimidated by the sight of a blank page staring back at us when we've had a little break. So um, what we're going to do today is as much for my benefit as it is for yours. What I've done is I've just woken up a lot of colours in my palette all the way down the side as well. I've got a size 4 brush and um, a number of you will have seen in the past me do um, sort of watercolour circles uh, and sort of blend them in together. Well today I'm going to do that but I'm going to do that with flowers, with petals. So we're just going to go and, and mess about a bit really and create something hopefully rather lovely but I'm just going into this completely sort of blind as such I'm just using my size 4 brush and dilute permanent rose to create a, a flower here and then with some alizar and crimson I'm going to drop in some more concentrated colour and now I'm going to start a new flower with some slightly different petals. So I guess what I'm doing here is I'm just focusing on the process and not the finished result. I'm also going straight in without using any pencil and that's another example of showing how I'm focusing just on the process. I'm not really worrying about how it looks at the end. I mean, it's always nice if it looks nice, but actually what I find so often with watercolor is when you're just enjoying yourself, the results really speak for themselves. And I'm going to be sort of a bit brave and mix in a few other colors. I'm going to pop in some leaves. Some might end up touching. But essentially, we're just going to have some fun. Um, I hope you all had a really nice break. Um, I really did. It was absolutely lovely. Um, of course, we had the watercolour advent calendar going throughout December and I'm sure you won't be shocked and dismayed to find that we had pre-recorded that in November so that I was able to put one out every day scheduled in December and, and really enjoy watching all of you respond and paint. Oh, it was just magical. And it's still available now. We're not going to get rid of it throughout the year um, because it's just full of lovely illustration techniques for you all um, and yes of course it's it's seasonal but at the same time it's very useful so starting with these nice dilute colors allows you to drop in colors like that and uh, let's pop in some more leaves so I'm just sort of making sure whenever I put leaves or new petals in that we're doing a, a fine balance between a bit of blending and a bit of space. Um, a lot of you also answered my call of the watercolour quick fix clinic at the end of last year where I asked you what are you struggling with with watercolour and a lot of you said how to start. Well, I, I really recommend this as a great starting point 
for any painter feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the task. And we will be working through those quick fix requests in the coming weeks. Now, I really do recommend using a size four brush for this because it gives you quite a lot of control but also allows you to work fairly fast as well because this exercise is most satisfying when your colours are wet enough to blend with each other. That's fun. I mean, I imagine there's still probably a little bit of wetness in the first flower we painted. Yes, there is. There we go. So I'm choosing cheerful colours. Um, they're all quite sort of strong, bright colours, but we're using them in this way it means that they're not fighting against each other but happily blending so I'm just going to keep filling my page and then we can see if there's anything more we can do at the end so I think the thing I'm enjoying as I go through this is I start to see little patterns emerge of things that I like to do. So you can see I began by painting flowers with a blank centre and now I'm going to add in some of my very simple petal flowers that I do where we start with a circle of paint in the middle. So what we do is we get a blob of wet paint and then with a clean wet brush I'm going to use the point of that brush to draw the colour out. It's really important that you've got lots of water on the brush here because you're creating a, a channel. And then what was also happening in the piece is when you do these flowers over the top of bits that have already dried, you're then getting a lovely layering effect. Now what I'm also doing is then dropping a, a sort of contrasting colour in the middle of that flower. Just pulse it a little bit and gradually you'll get an effect like this. Okay, so I'm going to turn my page round and carry on and fill up the rest of it. So that's the beauty of a piece with no real sense of direction is you can just turn it round and paint your heart's content and already I can feel myself easing back in to watercolour painting. I'm not feeling so concerned about how I do everything so it's clearly working. So I'm still painting absolutely everything with my size 4 brush and actually this is a great moment to say I've got some really exciting news about brushes. Um, these Pro Art Master Straight brushes are my favourites and I always paint with them and I know that a lot of you outside of the UK struggle to get your hands on them. Well, I am very pleased to announce that I have now got a wholesale account with ProArt and you can now buy these exact brushes that I use, the ProArt Masterstroke range. You can buy them in my Etsy store uh, from now. So down in the episode notes below, you can find a link to buy my brushes in the Etsy store and you can buy the set the size 8 through to the mini mini size 4 tenths, that's my favourite details brush and we'll also do uh, a sort of larger set and a, and a detail set just in case you only need one end of the spectrum. So yes, so these wonderful brushes that I use, the Pro Art Masterstroke range, um, are now available 
in my Etsy store and we ship worldwide. So go and get those while stocks last because I've got a feeling those are going to be rather popular. So I'm just finishing up this corner here and um, really enjoying sort of at points we're going to have nice blends going on like this and then at other times a much more crisp layered effect so I'm using cobalt no what am I using yeah cobalt turquoise for my greens but if you're new to this um, you can find all the details of the colors I'm using the size brush I'm using all of that in the episode notes below so we're just going to put in the last few leaves and I've got to say in painting that I feel massively relaxed and feeling excited to paint some more so I highly recommend if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the prospect of where to start with watercolor whether you are brand new and this is a new year's resolution you're gonna do some do some painting get creative or if you are a really it's like regular experienced painter but just lost your mojo maybe or not sure where to start with something new then have a go at just filling a page with flowers and leaves and not worrying about how it's going to look at the end because you will always be pleasantly surprised um, so don't forget you can now buy these brushes through me on my website no, um, on the Etsy shop I beg your pardon um, shipped worldwide um, yeah so we can all paint together and and get exactly the same experience thanks so much for watching thanks so much for watching I really hope that's helped you get right back into the swing of watercolor painting I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy and if you enjoyed it then hit the like button below and comment to let me know how you got on with that one and of course if you never want to miss another video just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>